Having just completed a tribute to Her Majesty the Queen, perhaps now is the time to complete a similar collection of our photographs in honour of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. All the photographs in this collection were taken by Keith Sanders at the World Carriage Driving Championships held in Windsor Great Park in 1980. As with the photographs of Her Majesty from the Centenary Shy Horse Show in, nine, in 1978, the camera here was again the Olympus OM-1 SLR. Most of the shots were taken using a telephoto lens. The film again was AGFA, slide film. This is the standard of HRH, the Duke of Edinburgh, and was flying on the main staff during the whole of the event. Following is a clearer picture of the coat of arms of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who was born in 1921 and died in 2021. The coat of arms represents his lineage as a prince of Greece and Denmark, on his paternal side and on his descent of the Mountbatten family on his maternal side. The three lions are for Denmark, the cross um, on the right hand side at the top is for Greece, the two pallet sable on the bottom left are for the Battenberg or Mountbatten family and the triple towered castle upon a rock proper is for Edinburgh. His motto is God is my help. Now we move on to the championships which are a three day event. We attended the day for the cross country with obstacles. The other two days are in a show ring. One for dressage which is very dressed up and formal and the other day is timed obstacle driving. In this first photograph Prince Philip is entering an obstacle with his carriage and team of horses. Behind him is his principal aide and assistant. On the back step of the vehicle is a groom and he is there to throw his weight from side to side to aid stability and other tasks if necessary. Ideally he must not put a step to the ground as this means penalty points for the team. Beside Prince Philip is his own personal judge. Each judge has a stopwatch and times the team through obstacles and time sections of the course. He will also give any penalty points for infringement of the rules of the competition. Each driver has a judge riding with him for this part of the competition. There are also stewards and course officials who watch everything very carefully for any infringements. His Royal Highness no, is no doubt driving a team of Cleveland Bay carriage horses from the Royal Mews. There's lots more information on the history of this breed on Wikipedia. We'll watch His Royal Highness work his way through this particular difficult obstacle and you will be able to see the judge clearly on the fourth picture and then in the fifth it looks like they've thrown him out but no he is still there in the final picture. As followers of 3D eventing will confirm, to get to watch these various obstacles on the cross-country route involves walking some considerable distances around the park. Next we've got some photographs of some of the other competitors. The first of these is John Parker, the famous driver of the Norwich Union stagecoach with his team of grey horses. As you look through these, pictures 9 and 10 show a wooden vehicle with two grooms on the back step. If I remember correctly, this was one of the teams from Poland. Far from being a purpose-built all-metal vehicle like many of the English teams, this one was all wood, including the wheels. In fact, I did see this vehicle negotiate the final obstacle, where it hit a wooden upright very hard and smashed the wheel completely. The outer parts, the fellows, and the tyre completely fell away and left just the wheel hub and perhaps six spokes. That metal dustbin lid arrangement had not been good enough to save the wheel. Without any further hesitation and telling the men on the back to hang on to prevent any further penalty points, 
he drove his team through the remainder of the obstacle and over the finishing line with the wheel half dragging and just turning on the spokes a time or two. He even managed to keep his judge on board too as the vehicle was at an amazingly crazy angle as it sped over the line. Car carriage driving can indeed be dangerous. That brings our photographs from 1980 to a close. You can follow Cracker Books publications on our new website. To date there are over 100 videos, over 200 audio stories and 10 complete books. All completely free to download to any device you choose. Full information is available from www.itsarumlife.com spelt I T S A R U M L I F E no gaps or lowercase dot com. It's a rumlife dot com. There's hours of entertainment for you to look at there. Uh, thank you for watching.